right, shit. Welcome back to my channel. One year later. It's been a minute since I've been around. Um, I have no excuse this time. I feel like I keep going rogue after a few videos and I just haven't been consistent and that's basically been my MO since the beginning of this channel so I apologize for that. I feel like I've been given multiple signs the past month and a half from girls that are playing professionally um, that have reached out to me through Instagram. I've gotten like an odd amount of Instagram DMs talking about my channel which I haven't had a video in like a year. For me, that was just like confirmation that like I need to pick up my camera again and continue to do this. So those who have messaged me, I just want to say thank you. So this weekend, I'm going to be taking you guys through my days, what I do. The team is away for a trip. They got a game tonight. I have not been able to travel. I currently am injured. And I'm wearing this thing. Um... So I'm just going to be showing you guys like what a weekend looks like when I'm not with the team. Obviously that is um, another part of being a professional athlete, injuries, but also even if you're healthy, not traveling, not playing, stuff like that. But right now we're going to go to the gym and do a lift, do like some bike sprints. And then we'll see what we get into the rest of the day. And this will be a nice time for us to catch up because it's been a while. So let's go. This is good. So now that my workout is done, I need to run some errands and get some groceries. Also, I heard Aries having a sale. So yeah, first we're gonna go to Trader Joe's and then we're gonna go to Aerie. I feel like I shouldn't go. I need, I probably should save money, but if they're having a sale, hmm, we'll see where the day takes us. Peanut butter, coconut oil, chicken, pepper, avocado, hemp seeds. I like to put those in my smoothies. Um, Brussels sprouts. I am obsessed with Brussels sprouts. And then this vegan tzatziki dip I've never had, but I have like leftover stuff for like Mediterranean salad, so I'm gonna try to do that for dinner tonight. And then some fruit goat cheese there's this recipe i found on dare i say tiktok like an avocado toast with like peppers and honey and it's actually so good so i go through this stuff like pretty fast and then some broccoli and of course kombucha i love kombucha and some flowers because sometimes you just gotta buy yourself some flowers you know so I am showered, ate some lunch. Um, I realized I have some peaches that I haven't used. So we're gonna make peach cobbler. So my injury, I'll call it an injury. I've had chronic plantar fasciitis for like the past five months, six months. I got PRP injections two, one week ago. And after that, basically, I have to be like completely off my foot, like in the boot as much as possible. Haven't been able to play, haven't been able to train, not traveling or stuff with the team. So like being injured is not fun, I would say, obviously. It's been difficult this season, I'm not going to lie. Like, especially because like, one, this injury is like... It's so annoying that it affects literally like just the simplest things such as walking. These PRP injections 
I feel like they've done a job so far. I'm praying that it doesn't come back because I'm so over it. Look how pretty those look. Wow. Go me. Go me. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. So I figured while the peach cobbler is baking, we can sit down and chat. This is what it is. The glamorous professional athlete lifestyle. You see the teams, you know, you see them play on the weekends. You see some behind the scenes stuff of like training. But what you don't see is like, there's people who are still on the team that aren't dressing for games or they're injured teams that travel like there's people that are left home there's so many things like behind the curtain that people don't see and i think that it's really easy to show when things are going great it's really easy to show like this is what game day looks like for me i can't give you that right now but i don't want to take away from the fact that like i'm still putting in the work to get there. And like I said from the beginning, like how I've always wanted to be honest and like show you guys what it really looks like. This is what it really looks like for me. It's not the best time of your life every single day and it's not like that for every single person. There's a lot of things that we have to deal with whether we're playing or not and it's part of the gig. And I kind of just wanted to show you guys, especially this weekend, show you that my team is away and I'm left at home and it's not like super fun but that's kind of my reality and I wanted to share that with you guys especially after like receiving these I've had like two or three dms like in the like past week like regarding my videos and random people just stumbled upon them and we're like super thankful that I was sharing the raw, honest truth because they're going through the same thing and they thought that they were crazy for what they were feeling and you're not. Like, this is our normal. So outsiders looking in, they're like, why do you do this probably? They probably ask, why do I do this? You know what? I still love it. I still have a passion for it and I still have goals that I want to achieve in this sport. For those who are watching who have reached out to me, I appreciate you and we're in this together honestly like what we do is so cool and on days where it feels like you just want to give up just remember that like this is a once in a lifetime opportunity to be a professional athlete and it can't last forever but also the feelings that you're feeling all the negative stuff that also doesn't last forever so I hope my words of encouragement can lift you up today. While I wish I was playing and I was traveling and I could show you guys sick videos of like my highlights or like travel day vlogs or game day vlogs, I can't give you that right now. This is what I can give you. This is what I can offer. Enjoy it or not. Um, but I hope one day that I can give you guys that and I can show you those fun things. But for now, we're going through it. So I'm gonna wait for the peach cobbler. I'm probably gonna call my mom. And then next time I see you, I'll probably be eating dinner and watching my team's game. So see you in a little. You guys, this, I mean, no peach cobbler like looks pretty, but I can just tell this is about to be so freaking good. Just finished dinner and this is what I'm having. I did like um, like a Mediterranean type deal, some brown rice, peppers, onions, cucumber, um, chickpeas, um, chicken, and then this tzatziki sauce, this vegan tzatziki sauce I bought today at Trader Joe's is so good. Highly recommend. So that's it for my day. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Our game is about to start right now, so I'm just gonna eat my dinner and watch the game. Again, just wanna thank you guys for those who reached out to me, um, kinda giving me a little kick in the butt to keep going with this YouTube thing. Make sure to comment, subscribe. This is the end of the video, the end of my day. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you soon. Mama told me one day I'll be famous. Remember when she used to say she hate this.